All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Dark Deity as part of the indie game lightning round uh, and sent to us by Freedom Games. Uh, this is made by Sword and Axe LLC and published by Freedom Games, and they've reached out, sent us a copy, and asked us to take a look. It was a surprise release in the middle of E3. There are surprisingly few of those, actually. You know, usually I, I watch game shows with dread of how many games are they just going to surprise, you know, release in the middle of this, you know, how. How many of these am I going to have to scramble to do a video on at 11.40 at night? And the answer is hey. very few. <laughs> That's fine. You took uh, a long nap. Yeah, I did take did. a long nap. They sent they sent this to me early, actually, and I just was not allowed to talk about it. And then I was just like, but nap, and did. But uh, for those of you that have never seen this game, this looks very much like an indie Fire Emblem. But based on the old pixel art versions, which is actually huge for me because I don't really like the new tradition, like the new Switch to 3D. The pixels just look so good, and you'll see exactly why. Yeah, and from what I've seen, they also have really nicely illustrated cutscenes and characters for dialogue options and such. What? What's this? Aptitudes? Weapons? Spell animations? So... It's a custom... Um... Isn't this, this is really cool. Yeah, but that's a randomizer. Is that just for replayability? Yeah. Holy crap, this is incredible. Okay, so I, I just got to gush about this a little bit. I, Shell has no interest, but as somebody that loved playing the Fire Emblem, game, Fire Emblem games as a kid, you generally were locked into like one or two paths with each character. Mm -hmm. But the player aptitude, enemy aptitude... But like, I can straight up make it so unit aptitudes, player classes will have random aptitudes. Will have zero aptitudes, normal aptitudes. So effectively, you can make it so that your character that is classically supposed to be a knight is randomly a really good wizard. Uh, you can also change it so the items that you get are completely random. Uh, let's see, enemy weapons will always be from the power tree, finesse tree, focus tree, balance tree, normal, fully random, uh, tier equal, Random within the weapon class, but retain oh, weapon tier. Oh, wait. So, would they have something predetermined for the campaign? Yeah. Or? But you can turn on totally random. Character join order will be unchanged, but you can change it so instead of getting, you know, Elgor, the Black Dragon Knight, you instead get Sydney, the Forest Witch. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, that's really cool. Uh, it, you can even switch it so the, the dude blocking the door isn't this, like, you know, hard knight character, it's instead just a Peasley archer that you just plow right through. But then randomly in the forest, there's this dude that you just cannot kill. But you can also turn up the EXP, the gold, the base stats. Mm. Like, by how much? Oh, heck yeah. I mean, much of this I kind of want to leave unchanged. Especially for an That initial... said, money, 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 money. There we go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> character stats will increase normally with a 0% chance. Set rate rather than rather than randomly. So this is a thing from Fire Emblem specifically. Well, then why is, aren't you pumping up XP? Because uh, my characters end up overpowered this way. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, I just like money. You just like money, so that you have the freedom to purchase whatever you want. Exactly. Um, because usually you're kind of limited based on your inventory. You still end up being broken this way, but I just like money. So I suppose for random spell animations, that's if you're tired of seeing someone using fireball over and over and over <laughs> and over again. I, they do a different I animation. I have no idea how this would even look, but I love the idea well, of this. Well, you would cast fireball and you get an ice bolt. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, but I just want to explain the linear levels thing. So normally in Fire Emblem games, when your character levels up, you have a percent chance that each stat will go up. So for example, you have a 50% chance your strength will go up, and a 10% chance your HP will go up. And so chances are your character's gonna end up with a lot of strength and very little HP. Mm. In this one, you can turn that off, and so all your stats will just go up at regular intervals. So you might not end up with as many stats one way or another, but this way you don't have to worry about your, your beefy bruiser guy just getting absolutely screwed over by RNG and not rolling a single strength uh. for some reason and therefore being totally useless. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna leave it off just because, but that's all of these options are incredibly cool as somebody that loves uh see a mortal hero and deity easier game elements better in player okay 
I have no idea. I'm assuming campaign customization just carries over. Uh, we're going to play on Hero. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is so fire ramble me. I it, love it. It is said that in the Age of Ascension, the gods walked among mortals, and mortals among the gods. That a great empire spread itself thin across the known world, conquering land after land with its superior technology and magic. I gotta say, any any JRPG or just RPG in general that starts you with a zoomed out version of like the planet in space. Yeah, so you can see the moon. There's then... just something cool about that. That actually doesn't look like the moon. That looks like another planet. Like it's blue. It could be it could be a dual planetary system or yeah, yeah one that has one. Yeah, or very just very close proximity. I really like the UI. For yeah, the... that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can proceed. But the people of Terrazael, it, yeah, because Terra would be Earth. Mm-hmm. Yep. Came together in peace. Little is left from that time, swept away in a deadly cataclysm known as the Calamity. Thousands of years later, all that remains of life before the Calamity are ancient temples to the gods and the divine artifacts contained therein. It is the year 1105 in the Imperial Calendar. I love that map. Yeah, it's an old typey map. It's so pretty. Also, Etlin. Is that what Duskwater, it is? Brookstead, High Ridge, Vorn, <laughs> Canovo, Everhearth, Concordio, the Temple of Fame. Nice. Alright, so. You already read uh, this? I already read it, yeah. Okay. The kingdom of Delia lies in the heart of Etlen, a nation that has long thrived off of continual trade and lush farmlands. Though peace had reigned for over 25 years, Delia's king now sets his eyes on an enemy of his own construction. King Varric Val Distar assumed the throne a decade ago, on the day his father, Fasil, was assassinated by an unknown parties. I love that throne. Yeah, ah, look at yes. Here's this really impressive golden throne. With now flames. get hugged by a gargoyle. Well, it's a dragon gargoyle, no doubt. And it looks like was so is Basil on the throne and Varric is the prince or what they both have reddish hair. Yeah, I I, I bet that's I bet that's Varric on the throne and the red red hair guy is like a main character or something coming mm -hmm. to see him. Mm -hmm. But I just love the idea of that throne. Yes, it has two functions. If the wrong person sits on the throne, it hugs them to death. And if somebody <laughs> or bites off the... their head. No, well, I can no, imagine it biting no, off no, no, their no, head. No, 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 no. No, that's the other function. If somebody offends the king, it breathes fire on them. <laughs> to this day, Varric is convinced that the assassins were sent by the Aramaran royal family. To this day, it remains unproven. Following a minor border dispute that normally would reach resolution painlessly, King Varric resolved to attain his revenge. After sending a covert Delian force to burn the Armoran city of Alaris to the ground, Varric and his thirst for revenge have plunged his kingdom into a war it is ill prepared for. Pressed for more troops, King Varric must make hard decisions. He looks now to Brookstead the site of Delia's most prestigious officer academy. Each year, its graduating class bolsters Delia's forces, a pact and tradition that has lasted a millennium. The young king believes the solution to his troop issues lie in a new path. He intends to recruit not only the graduate year, but every student currently enrolled. In quiet Brookstead, Students have worked hard all year to stand out among their peers. The Academy Trials provide an opportunity to advance in the class rank, or fall behind. For many, it is the most important day of the year. Though the trials can be stressful, many agree that a life of training with such clear goals is simple, enjoyable even. Come tomorrow, they will find that life may never be so simple again. Chapter 1, Journey Afoot. Oh, save slots. Irving. 
What do you think Galen's got brewed up for the trials this year? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's tailored to make our lives what? difficult. Oh. I might just turn the voice off. Well, okay, so Irving, he kind of sounds like the main protagonist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. I'll raise his voice a bit. You think he'd do that just to punish us for choosing Elden? <sighs> I was up at the crack of dawn hearing no son of mine should jeopardize a mission for a sentiment. Well, we couldn't pick Marin without Elden. That was the deal. I think he just can't stomach the thought that his pride and joy might fail. <laughs> His pride and joy is standing right in front of me. <laughs> ha! Either way, I'm right. Besides, Alden is talented. Even if your father doesn't see it, I've immediately got hiccups. <laughs> you always do that I, when you start it, with voices, well, though. It's, yeah, it's because I'm effectively just being like, hey, diaphragm, freak out a bunch. And it's like, ah! It's all about... It's all about breath control with voice yeah, acting. Yeah, and this is why I'm specifically pushing you down the path of being a voice actor, and I'm fine being a couch man. <laughs> right. Why don't you try convincing the Swordmaster that a 14-year-old who can't lift a training staff can best an 18-year-old graduate? There's a reason he doesn't teach conjuring. Your dad wouldn't trust a mage as far as he could throw him. Now that you mention it, I wonder how far he could actually throw Alden. I'd wager you could put a good toss on the tyke. <sighs> <laughs> so that's Marin and we, yeah. I don't know. Some is that a witch? So maybe this is a priest and then a priestess and a witch. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. How are you boys feeling about the big day? I'm confident we'll pass. We certainly put in the training. Of course we'll pass. I want to break Sterling's record. Alden might be a boy. Oh, you're right. Alden is a boy. Never mind. Go, go, young boy voice. Wander. Of course we'll pass. But I want to break Sterling's record. Who the forge there, little man? Oh, come on. But I'm the yeah. best. I'm on the best team of any first hmm. year. I think what Alden is trying to say is that he really appreciates being on the team. Good. Now I'm going to need you to focus that appreciation, Alden. There's a lot at stake for your sister. Oh. Right. If we win, I won't have anything to worry about when Marin leaves for the army, because I'll know she's ready. Oh, they are siblings. Notice how they have the kind of lavender yeah. hair? Yep, yep. Aw. I, I, I really wish that humans had wacky hair colors. I know! I know that people can achieve it with hair dye, but it's just always... It's nice when you have characters that are color-coded and themed. If you notice, the archer is green, and... Archers the main... are always green. <laughs> well, you know, camouflage in the trees. And then the main protagonist, he's... The, the red, blue, and gold. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Hmm. Great. Well, there goes the mood. Promise you'll focus today and give everything you got, okay? Yep. Promise! Let's get going. Can't miss the trial standing around for a chat. If father doesn't kill me, being stuck in a team with Alden just might. You know oh, the rules. that's the father. Yep, you know the rules. All non-lethal strategies to defeat your opponents are fair game. Defeat the leader of this regiment to complete the trials. You'll all recognize him. We're prepared for this. Alden, Garrick, stoke, stay right. close behind. If any of you take hits, I'm ready to patch Not you up. Fair. Can we go already? And so the trials begin, with style and grace, I might add. Just dripping with sincerity today, aren't we, Dad? Oh, and the battle starts. See, yes, Marin is the the priestess. Yep. She's the healer. Okay. I like this tutorial. Win. Win. Thought you'd never ask. Okay. Wonder what haste does. Well, I check. Oh, he's got a war bow, a crossbow, a long bow, a short bow. A bow for every occasion. I have no idea which is best. Well, they seem to have different info. indicators next to them. So, I'm wondering... So, yeah, he's got a green thing. He has a short sword, which is a similar to short bow, so maybe that's just a close range target. Maybe it does more damage when used in close range. Whereas... A longbow would be better to hit long-range targets. Okay, here we go. But... So, warbow 
by and far seems to be the best. He's also got some inventory stuff. Spicy meatball. <laughs> and a duper. He's got a potato in his pocket. So, Shortbow does the least amount of damage. Uh, let's see. But also there's accuracy. Yeah, too. okay. So power is how much damage it does. Weight is how often you get to attack with it. Accuracy modifies your two hit. And crit should be pretty self-explanatory. So Warbow, we're generally only going to be able to attack with that once. Ah, here we go. Uh, so HP, how much damage they do with physical, how much damage they do with magic. Defense for avoiding physical damage. Uh, resistance against magic. Accuracy and dodge. Damage and units ability to exploit high advantage matchups. Speed is dodge and true speed, which I think... And then the last one's luck. Yeah, here we go. True speed increases dodge. If five greater than an enemy's true speed, unit will double attack. Um, so I'm pretty sure... I'll have to I'll have to look at a lot of these. This is wild. He also has a skill, Silky Smooth. Crits do extra damage. Mm. Okay. Thought you'd never ask. So I'm going to attack with probably the war bow. Ah, here we go. So you can see the war bow is going to do 15 damage to him. Mm -hmm. The crossbow will only do 11. Longbow will do even less, but various ones have different crit chances, accuracies. Shortpo looks like I'm only attacking once with it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Don't know what phase does. Okay, so we have arcane blast, which is going to do a lot of damage. Force beam, arcane missiles. Mm -hmm. So classic mage character. Yep, mage cleric. Ranger, warrior. Okay. So I think I'm just going to finish this guy off. Uh, let's see. I wonder if Beam can strike multiple enemies in a row. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not it. There's also tips that we can look at if we want to. Okay, but can Beam strike through enemies? It doesn't... It doesn't say. I don't know. Slumbering strength. Can't get less than four stats when leveling. Ooh, that's good. Okay, let's do tips real quick. Oh, boy. Items. I... Yep. Just attack! Yeah, this is, this is going to be one of those that I think I'm going to have to just learn on my own. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. I actually kind of like that. It's just a matter of, like... As somebody that plays a lot of these How games... Oh, she's got a hammer! Yeah, well, it's just so she's a cleric. Not yeah, just hammer, a... flail, mace, pickaxe... <laughs> She's no slouch. Dang it. Ah, a dodge. Oh, she looks a lot more solid in that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, short sword, long sword, saber, kadachi. Okay difference. Short Sword has a higher crit than the Kadachi. I'm gonna give it a shot. Nope. Gosh, this is so OG Fire Emblem. I love it. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I was trying to hit him. I think it's interesting that when they're attacking you, the characters are flipped on the screen so that the defending character is always on the right. Huh. And the offensive character is always on the left. I think that's normal for the genre. I forget. I'm just used to having it that your characters, regardless of whether they're attacking or defending, are always on the left. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love the animations. For the for the health bar being a potion. Yeah. A vial that breaks. Together. Okay. Items and stats. Now we know about that. Okay, so we could charge. It'd be nice if you had a AoE move. It's yeah, uh, rarely does that sort of thing. Not for him, but for the mage. I'll take points. For the ranger. Because the ranger might have a move that sends a volley of arrows or... This should be fun. 
Okay. Question. Thought I just wanted to ask. double check. Can I attack? Yeah. I... Garrick sounds British. Oh, well, maybe Thought maybe he can't asked. attack from there. Or maybe I just have to give him a different weapon. Can he attack from here? No. Hmm. I was assuming the longbow would specifically... Let's see. I was assuming the longbow would actually give him more range. Doesn't look like it. Also don't know if there's a durability on these weapons, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, let's see. One thing I never... One thing I never really liked about the Fire Emblem games was that the weapons would break. Yeah, After I, X number of uses? I always dislike durability in games. Because then you have to expend so many resources just made, making sure that you keep your weapons yeah. up. Yeah. This one looks more heavily armored. Unless they're... They're another version of a priest? Yeah, it was another a version of a priest. Mm -hmm. Poor cleric. Yeah, I don't actually know the difference. I'll have to see if I can heal. So, the thing is, I I suppose I would always think priests and priestesses are more the mage equivalent of healers, but clerics are Stay with me. healer knights. Except paladins are also that too, except more defensive. Was that really necessary? I love the animations on breaking the... Mm -hmm. uh, breaking the little vial. Because, mm -hmm. like, every single means of killing them has a different animation. Oh, oh right. Yeah, the magic one just seems to incinerate it. Makes it twirl into a vo vortex of light. Archer versus, versus Archer. Figured that's why I'd send him out. Couldn't dodge that. Ouch. Eh, kind of. We got a healer and boy we do damage. Alright. There we go. Now, that over there on the right, is that the commander? Uh, I think that's a wizard. He could be a mage because he has a little blue dot next to him. Probably meeting expectations. Okay. There's the boss. Yeah. Sterling. Sterling, the blade dancer. And sometimes you can even... Wait, is that the guy that we see in the Yeah, I think that was room? the guy that we saw in the throne room. Ah. I... If I hazard a guess, Sterling it Sterling and be... Irving? Oh, no. I bet they're siblings. They do have very similar names. Also, the red hair is a potential giveaway, too. Yeah. If Marin and Alden... Wait a minute! They also have names that end in N. E-N. Yeah. Marin, Alden? I mean, why not? Are you sure? Okay. Could you... What would that have meant for a sister? What, for Sterling? Oh, they probably named them Aisling. Or Ashling. I think that's how you really pronounce it. Could be. But that's a female name. My sword grows lighter with every swing. That's not the growth I was hoping for. I did get two extra HP, but We've got you. Yeah, well I could use the uh, the cleric in combat. Pretty good and pretty free EXP to just heal small amounts of damage. Up, oh, yep. Look Little at that. brother, certainly you don't think you can take me on. Sterling, you're going down. Are you sure? Now, for lucky, the boss doesn't move. That's one thing I always liked about the uh, Fire Emblem games: is the boss never moves. <laughs> I'm just imagining if our siblings had to have names that ended in letters similar to ours. 
don't want to give them away necessarily, but I I was just imagining the one for your brother and it would be funny. What? Gnarl? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would be, it would probably be Nathaniel. My hard work is paying off. No, because that doesn't end in RL. See? Nathaniel. <laughs> wow, she can't hit for beans with that thing. That's okay, she's already hit level two. Who has not? Mage boy. Kill. Aww. So close. You might also notice after we uh, damage or kill an enemy, little hearts pop up around the characters. Mm. Uh, that's like support conversation stuff. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. so... Shared Together. experience, congratulations. Hello, brother. Turns out I am really strong. And you're kind of weak. Those are some nice animations, though. Yeah. They really went all, all out with those. Anyway, uh, no honor. <laughs> Gained one tier token. Let's see. Stage clear. Woo! What would you do without me? Okay, so you can see everybody's stats, everything, sorts, ad advance? Ad nope. Advance? Nope. Advance. There we go. Buttons! Not bad, little brother. You and your friends put up quite a fight. I'm glad to hear it. By Vosh, you've all grown. That was quite the thrill. Mm -hmm. A thrill indeed. <laughs> Surprise, well father. Done. Surprise, father. Too many voices. <laughs> they all sound a little similar. Well, because I have to make them sound similar because they're related. Congratulations, <laughs> son. All of you should be very proud of what you accomplished today. You especially, Mara. You really think so? You're right. All the characters that we met so far, we have a father and son, we have brothers, and then we have a sister and, and yeah. brother. That's funny. Thank you, Master Galen. And now that you've had your thrill, Commander, I believe some kind of explanation is in order. Of course, as promised, brother. Friends, if you'll excuse us. Forgive me if I've hardened my hardened in my ears, Sterling, but I don't expect this is a nostalgic visit. Unfortunately not, sir. You were never one to live in the past, always onwards and upwards. Uh, tell me, how goes the war effort? At the moment, our prospects are grim. In fact, that's what brings me here. I see. Come to size up our latest graduates? Not quite. The king plans to recruit the entire academy. Naturally. There's no finer school to supply your ranks. I hope to see the wars end well before our youngest graduate. Actually, I'm afraid he wants them now, sir. All of them. Is that so? Well, I didn't think he had the gall. Tell me, Commander. What plans does our king have in mind for the initiates? Perhaps four to... Uh, four together could load a catapult? I wish I could say. Ugh. Always a man of duty. The king is foolish to sever the pact. His father would not have heard of it. Vassal is a good man. With all due respect, sir, what better way to avenge his father than to join the ranks of those bringing justice to Aramore? Guard your suspicions, Commander. I do not speak so eagerly of war. If the king wishes it, he shall have his soldiers. Hello? hope you, of all people, understand the gravity of this decision. All too well. Chapter 2, Desperate Defense. We'll do one more. That last one was not exactly... much. Uh, let's see. The gra this graduating class is one of the finest cohorts I've had the pleasure of teaching in my decade of headmaster, as headmaster. At every opportunity, you've shown the resolve and dedication that allows Brookstead to endure, and I have every confidence that this, that the classes to follow would do the same. Spot the main characters. <laughs> 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 They're all swordsmen except for the main characters. I would have thought that they would have it up had a bit. clerics yeah. in one row and archers in another row and warriors <laughs> in another row and mages in the last nope. row, but no. Listen up. I regret that I must conclude this graduation ceremony with grim news. We've received orders from King Varric himself. Every student enrolled at Brookstead, the academy, is to be conscripted into the Delian army, effective immediately. I understand that for most of you, graduation felt a lifetime away. I stood where you did once. I know how you must feel. At the conclusion of this speech, you will all be graduates of Brookstead Academy. 
Outside these walls, you will be expected to exemplify our honor and code. Life takes much from us, yet Brookstead still stands. You will have each other to lean on, and I cannot stress enough how important it, is, it will be to do so. I'm told you have three hours to prepare. Let Terzale know that there is nothing that can strain, stain the legacy of our town. But look at that. Does he have two companions that are potentially sisters? Uh, maybe. They look it. Not quite the homecoming you imagined, I take How is it. This fair? How could the king do this? Oh, never mind. They're guys. Easily. Okay. It would seem he cares not for convention, regardless of his legacy or importance. It seems like he'll stop at nothing to avenge his father. Ah, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce Lincoln and Bianca. They're the leaders of this conscription tour, as well as good friends. Okay, so maybe these two are not siblings. I don't think so. Because They I, do not match. Well, one of them has more silvery blonde hair, and the other one has blonde blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Then again, I, I suppose Marin and also, Alden have slightly different yeah, color hair. Yeah, but it's like, Bianca looks way happier than the other guy. Like, they do not match thematically. <laughs> yep. Nice to meet you. Sterling's told us a lot about all of you. I thought you uh, occupied the highest military rank in Delia. Why wouldn't you be leading the operation? I must return to Sojourn. I only came because the king had sent anyone else. Galen might have beheaded them. You didn't come to see us? That's wonderful to see you, but I'm not afforded such luxuries in wartime. You're leaving then? I'm afraid so. I'll see you when you arrive in Sojourn. Can't make excuses there to take a few hours off. Ill news aside, I'm glad you came. I can't put into words how much even this flawed trip meant to me. I really should be going, but you can trust Bianca and Lincoln with anything. And Irving, be sure to see Mother before you yes. go. I will. See you in Sojourn. Aw, that's their mom? Yep. Irving, I'm glad you're home. How did the trials go? We did quite well. Sterling was there, actually. <laughs> Was he? And too busy to stop by and say hello to his mother, I imagine. It's not that simple. In fairness, he wasn't here for long. Uh, not with great news, either. Mother, I... I oh, I know. I know. Varric's recruited the Academy. <gasps> what? How did you find out already? Word spreads fast in a place like this. I heard it from the town crier on the way back to from the market. Ah. Uh, well, I guess you know I'll be Irving. leaving. Oh, Irving. I've already given one of my sons to Varric's war. Is it ever enough? We knew this day would come when I entered the academy. <sighs> of course. But not so soon. Well, I suppose it's never easy. You must take care of yourself on the road. And your friends. Don't worry. I'll be fine, Mother. With the effort the King's putting into the war, it'll be over before you know it. I'll be right back in Brookstead. War is rarely so simple in my experience. But I hope you're right. I'll miss you terribly, you know. I know. I'll miss you too. Well, I'll grab my things. Right. Uh, before you go, let me prepare some provisions for you. I'll leave them on the kitchen table. Oh, and don't forget your running shoes. After passing Brookstead Trials, a day of celebration becomes one of separation for one many. Having expected to graduate in due time, the Academy students now must quickly say goodbyes to their families. Sterling heads back to Sojourn, leaving the contingent in the care of Lincoln and Bianca. The contingent heads for Deskwater, a backwater town to the southeast. Lincoln hopes to fill the rest of the recruiting quota there. Duskwater. Good man. Your service to the crown will bring your family honor. Now it would seem our charter requires two more brave souls. Come, good ping people, your king has called. Who will answer? I got four mouths to feed. Aaron's not old enough to look after the farm. My leg is not what it used to be. Though I suppose I have a few good years left in me. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do it? E is it Eli, Eli or Ellie? Eli. I think so. Eli? I'd wager I'd look good with a big ol' hammer. <laughs> I just like the dichotomy between these characters. She's just... Grubby dude with a shovel. Old ass lady. <laughs> uh, 
uh, whatever this is. <laughs> I, glam she, pirate? Yeah, she looks like a thief or, yeah, I, hmm, I don't know. See ya. Okay. Oh, El Elias. Okay, so. Ah. So it is Ellie. You're right. Gosh. Or unless it's Elias, but I think it's Elias. Choose your next words carefully, Sia. You have a good life here. Willing services brings more honor than forced conscription. I pray it doesn't come bye, to that. Bye. Oh, I don't know much about honor, but I can smell adventure when I see it. Sign me up, Captain. Uh, uh, and all I with her. Fortune favors us today. Thank you both for your courage. Just one catch. I gotta swing by the tavern and let the matron know that I'll be taking a long vacation. Wouldn't want her to find out the hard way that she's out of her favorite barmaid. Very well, Irving. Take your friends and accompany our newest recruits to the tavern. Bianca and I will finish up here. Secure what provisions you can. We have a long road ahead of us. Yes, sir. Well, now we got our red oni, our blue oni, and our green oni. <laughs> Well, okay, so now we have the barmaid and the... That guy with the... Elias with the blue hair is all decked out. What kind of character is he supposed to be? Kind of tankish. He might have, like, a shield. Mm -hmm. I My favorite trope in Fire Emblem is that you have, like, a, a dude wearing, like, pretty solid armor, but then you see the, like, the sprite version of them and they look like a, a tank. Mm -hmm. Like a literal tank man with just, like, armor up to their, like, jaw and just, like pauldrons that extend to the space and yeah, all sorts of Yeah, she's a small dagger. Things. She might be a rogue of some sort. Probably, but she did say hammer, so... Oh, oh, she wanted to have a big hammer? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Just gotta grab my things from upstairs. Be down before you can say that you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Ha, huh, alright. You prefer to travel light? Perhaps. Excessive equipment is an occupational hazard. Name's Elias, by the way. The two of you got a lot of guts signing up like you did. Two of us, right. My overwhelming bravado and lack of brains for my impressionable friend. I would never let her do this sort of thing alone. No, I'm kidding. To be honest with you, Elias, it sounds like anyone would have an impossible time trying to stop her. I wish that weren't true. I never met a barmaid so bell-headed. <laughs> oh, I think I have. Bandits in the streets! They're headed for the inn! Black Abyss, we just left home and we're already in the thick of it. Where's the new recruit? I said I'd be ready! Good. Prepare yourselves. Looks like we'll see combat sooner than we thought. We have to hold out until Lincoln and Bianca can get to us. I like this game a lot already, mm -hmm. but oh boy, trying to like voice act all of the characters is fresh heck. It's just too many. <laughs> too <laughs> soon. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bandits. That's a ton of bandits. It is a ton of bandits. Alright. Let's see. Oh, so that's interesting. So she definitely has daggers, and he has a javelin or a, a spear. Things. Jax and Fell. These two are special. Mm hmm. There's also a guy on a horse. They're level four, too. I think that one's not mm -hmm. special. So, here, if I do menu. No. Well. Is it that you're supposed to hold out until Lincoln and Bianca arrive? So maybe you're just supposed to hold your own, rather there than seek Units. out the enemies. So this is something that specifically uh, Fire Emblem games have taught me, uh, is that you always look around in the mission to see if there's somebody with a specific name. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so it's those guys in the bottom right. Yeah, these two have specific names. I don't... Uh, they also look to be twins. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are in fact twins. So, uh, specifically, the reason why it was important is that sometimes a named character would actually be, like, on the enemy side. Mm -hmm. And you'd actually have to bring certain characters up to them to talk to them. And mm -hmm. if you talk to them, they would either leave the battle, change something, or straight up just join you right then and there. I'll take point. And uh, not exactly in the case. So, Elias looks like he uses a spear, a trident. Mm hmm and, and she is, in fact, a rogue. No hammer. Okay. How do so I want to do asked. this one? I guess let's minimize damage to some degree. That was a good hit. I'll take point. 
question is, will you have someone else take... Oh, yep. That does it. Yeah, soften them up with ranged characters first. Need a tier one token. Are you sure? There we go. Level there up. he goes. I've got a lot to learn. At your disposal. Okay, chain. Oh, lock the target in place for one turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, fight javelin. Uh -oh. okay, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. What Can he her? hit from a whole square away? With that or no? Dang. Uh, no, he cannot. Oh, How I was hoping that a unit with a spear would be able to do that. Oh. Lead the way. Didn't work. Can I attack? How much damage is that going to do? A lot. The question is... She can probably take that guy out, right? No. If this, she can hit. This dude is tanky. Mm-hmm. How can I help? Okay, fine. I guess... Let's see. So it doesn't, damage doesn't really matter too much here. We just don't want to miss. Oh, this guy has a really high crit chance, comparatively. It's probably not going to be enough. I'm on okay, it. let's move him forward a bit. Attack here. Uh, let's see, which has 100% attack speed? Great. Yeah, let's just go with that one. Yep. Not quite enough. Nope. Okay. She should be able to finish him yeah, off, right? Yeah, easily. Mm -hmm. you handled that well. I like it how she has way more clothes in battle. <laughs> <laughs> what a reversal. Okay. So do they have them... It seems unit types have very specific attire. And yours are always in blue and the enemies are always in red. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Ooh, I think that's on. pretty standard. And, like, <laughs> neutral units will be just, green. Yeah, I was just wondering if they would have unique armor and such. Uh... Ow. Uh... Yeesh. Oof. Those archers hurts. Okay. Oh! His spear attacks twice. Ah, oh, cool. So it jab jab. Yep. And if you notice, archers can't attack in melee. Mm-hmm. Lead the way. Okay, let's see how much she heals. Fresh Ten. as a daisy. Each. Let's do it. Let's see, how far can he move and attack? Yeah, you'll Enough have to, to hit be those spearmen. Yeah, I'm just afraid of getting any of my wizards mm -hmm. uh, left out in the open and then wrecked. So here. Just hit him quick. There we go. Unfortunately... Uh, let's see, is that enough? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. And he's already level three. Proudly meeting expectations. There we go. I think she's just gonna hang out in the back. Uh let's see. How do I how do I end? I guess maybe I just end wait. turn. Yeah, yeah, it would have to be wait. Is your Critical. Fate. Oh, let's see. Special animation. Yeah. Super effective. Wait. So, do your characters always counterattack? The other, the this... enemies didn't seem to counterattack. Archers cannot counterattack in melee. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, so specifically, uh, if I go up and hit that bandit, so I can't counterattack against the bandit. But mm -hmm. if I hit him in melee, he can't counterattack against me. Whereas wizards can counterattack, not at any range, but this both. is not looking good. Survive for seven turns. Oh, 
I see, because that's how long it takes Bianca and Lincoln to arrive. Yeah. How many turns are we at currently? Uh, turn two. Oh no. Well, definitely kill off the swordsman and the guy on the horse, the mounted unit. That settles that. If I can. Okay. Advantage F. Let's do it. Let's see. Wipe him out. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so I'm noticing advantage like A and F. Like there's some kind of sort of is that armor oysters? What? I'm confused. So is there a system where there's Archer there's some kind Calvary, of type advantage, Calvary. but I don't necessarily know what it is. Beats melee units, melee units beat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because if you notice, I use the long sword. He gets to attack twice with the Kadachi. Well, let's see. Because the real answer is. Uh, let's use longbow. There we go. Together. And that way, I can just finish him off with whatever I want without even taking damage. Mm -hmm. Today was not their day. There we go. My sword grows lighter with every swing. With the top, it says A and E. Is that a ranking for how well they're doing that turn? It's like a tight matchup. Mm. It's that's the advantage system I was talking about. I, I have see. no idea how the math works or like what the because in Fire Emblem the weapon triangle was incredibly obvious, uh, at least in the early games, and then they did away with it. She's but, really good at dodging. That's yeah, good for her. Yeah, thieves usually have kind of low defense, maybe high attack power, mm -hmm. uh, but great dodge. How can I help? Let's heal, Mage Boy. Let's see. It's pretty much just archers at this point. Oh wow, her damage is pants. I mean, she, she's using daggers. That can be somewhat expected. Though I always thought that rogues were supposed to be a little bit more deadly. Maybe they won't have as much oomph to their attacks as, say, a knight would, but... I'll take point. Okay. The archers are not nearly as dangerous as the melee guys, I think. Uh, let's see. How much damage can you do? Not enough. That only does six. Ooh. Guess I'll just do this. They're kind of tanky. Mm-hmm. Right, let's see if I can finish him off. Yep. There we go. Okay, so we got a bunch of archers in the mid midst of my ranks, but otherwise I think we're fine now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, luckily their archers are not particularly strong yet, so they only do like two damage. Yeah, they, they've still gotten Sia down quite a bit. Aha! Wait, that guy is an archer on a horse. Yeah, he he's a mounted archer. He also does no damage to my archer. For whatever reason, my archer is weirdly strong. Okay. Well, I mean, he's a Can ranger. We... I don't know if that means he's just an archer or if he has some kind of survival techniques I don't think so these games usually do not do like survival skills alright yeah it's fine could you be careful I won't lose you okay so they're they're bullying mm -hmm. see ya so I want to get I want to heal Sia up if I can. Fine by me. 
Yeah, she's leveled up. All right. And... Let's get some down. It has the highest accuracy. There we go. Let's hope Mage Boy is enough to... There we go. Don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> there he goes. There we go. I've got a lot to learn. Leveled up too. Lead the way. Okay. Okay, this girl. isn't looking so bad. Yeah, it was looking kind of spooky for a moment. But the main bonus is the uh enemy archers are not actually that dangerous, so I can I'm not gonna say I can ignore them. But okay, I mean, so that... you can just flat out dodge. Yeah. They only just kind of chip away at me. As long as they take out the... Well, okay. They're still kind of dangerous. But we will be fine. Not very effective is the achievement. Okay. Attack. Be good. Today just might be a day. Okay. Oh! This enemy has like a silvery bow looking thing. Is it? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, this guy, this guy has like a silver bow compared to this guy. They're both rangers. Oh no, uh, archer versus ranger. Archer versus ranger. Maybe it's an, It might an be like a higher and... tier class or mm -hmm. something. Stay with me. Love Elias. Okay, so this guy Just how a these guys spooky. are dual wielders, but they're not blade dancers. Like the brother. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I I know there's like a substantive class system in this game. Okay, he's spooky. Is there anything that lets me attack twice? I always gotta check, but the answer looks like a solid no. That's okay. Well you thought there was a lance move. Well you me. attack twice. Uh, sometimes. It's usually a speed matchup. Oh. Remember, different weapons have different weights. And so the heavier the weapon, the less likely are you are to attack twice. Let's see. Let's just wipe this guy out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You yeah, really at this point, just... you only have five enemies left? Uh, yeah. And I'm not... I One, think two. the brothers are going to be more of like a fight them if you want My to, but they're probably not worth it. Every swing. Okay. I thought you'd never ask. But this guy. I'll take point. Attack him. There we go. Unfortunately, these games tend to be a little yeah, slow. Fun. Yeah. I, I love me some tactical RPGs, but it's one of those that, from like a, a YouTube commentary perspective, it's just like it takes a little while. But despite my, I'm not gonna say lack of enthusiasm because I'm. It's not exactly a lack of enthusiasm. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, her speed stat makes up for the fact that she doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Despite my... I don't even want to say it's like a lack of enthusiasm, but just the fact that this is kind of slow. It's like... I mean, it's it's, it's a repetitive thing. You, you approach a unit, you choose an attack. But this it. is like the most faithful Fire Emblem style game I have seen in a very, very long time. And like, I've seen some attempts, but this feels very correct in terms of like matching the old style and gameplay and whatnot and art i think the art matters a lot mm -hmm. here's the question did the brothers come after me oh we won stage clear yep i wonder if you would have gotten i more i know if you kill the, the brothers probably would have ended immediately but mm -hmm. oh well yeah i let's see there, by the tavern. I'm glad to see you all in one pla uh, one piece. How did you fare? Splendidly. You may be surprised to learn that this isn't the first time I've stepped out of a tavern and into a skirmish. 
Hardly. That was hairier than I expected. Yes, no fine academy or drunken brawl can fully prepare one for the perils of battle. Still, I was glad to have our new recruits with us. They both held their own. Based on the charred bandits, I'd assume one of them is an adept, or else an incredibly skilled mage. Like me to ship back to Neulis for purification, would you? Not even. <laughs> that would spell the end for us both, I'm afraid. Some say it takes one to know one. Ah, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to find a fellow adept in the army. That's where our talents inspire the least superstition I've found, so long as you're standing under the right banner. Who were those guys, anyway? Were those who... Aramorans were supposed to fight? No. Ah, believe me, that would have not... That would not have ended so quickly. Or so neatly. We were up against the forces of... Uh, we were... Uh, were we up against the forces of Aramor? No, bandits more likely. Huh. We've had trouble with bandits these past few months. But for the last week or so, things have been quiet. Maybe they were gearing up for something big like this. These bandits you speak of, do you know where their base of operations is? Not exactly. But I know they used to ambush folks by the northeast crossroads. They had to patch up a couple travelers up when they came through bleeding like a summer pig. I love, like, I know her name is Sia, but for like a bandit thief stealthy character, I just keep reading her name as CIA. <laughs> that is funny. That isn't an expression, Sia. That's just a day's trip north of here, correct? Just about. You don't think I... Oh, sorry. You don't look like you move too fast, though. So don't hoist me up to the gallows if I'm off by an hour. Lincoln, the sun's already low in the sky, and Varric's not one to overlook a delay. We just recruited the town's best fighters. I won't leave them defenseless at the mercy of some ruffians. I'm changing her voice a little because she has sounded a little huskier earlier. What about the other recruits? I'll give the word. I'll send them on ahead. If they at least make good time to sojourn, Varric might be understanding. Let's be off. Best we reach their camp before they catch wind of what transpired here. I can tell you one thing. The townsfolk will be glad to be rid of those thugs. Okay. This game is really charming. It's also kind of slow, but that's mm -hmm. purely just what it is and this kind of genre i love it this is the kind of game that i would spend long summer hours curled up next to a window watching the extremely humid world go out go by outside from the comfort of my air-conditioned home <laughs> you know birds when have you people. had an air-conditioned home uh, when i lived in north carolina uh, okay because we, we were only there for like currently. three quarters of a year but i put Dozens, if not hundreds, of hours into both Fire Emblem and uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on the Game Boy Advance. Can we at least see the story up to the next fight, and then we stop before the fight? Uh, I was just going to stop us here. Oh, no! I My voice is getting a little raw, and trying to play as all of these different characters is heck. Mm -hmm. But I like it a lot. Also, the story up to the next part is going to be bandits. Bandits! And, you know, they're probably specifically set against the town by Aramore or whatever is kind of like a, mm -hmm. you know, weaken them from within kind of thing. But this inc this is an incredibly well-made tactical RPG uh, in the exact same style as Fire Emblem. Like, this is this is my childhood, and I am all, all for it. From a serious perspective, I don't think I have a whole lot of interest in continuing on, but I've been looking for a game that I specifically can kind of play and have fun with and just kick back. Oh, yeah. And this very much fits that bill perfectly and i'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes on kind of my own time uh just for funsies because and what the calamity was yeah but for now for those of you watching this video dark deity is out on steam now as a surprise release it's 20 bucks and if you are looking for another tactical rpg to uh to i'm not gonna say slowly play through but like not a whole lot of these games come out on a yearly basis, and so this one seems like it's going to be probably one of the better contenders for quite a while, and a standout for this year especially. So yeah, if you've been looking for another Fire Emblem game, another Fire Final Fantasy Tactics kind of thing, just 
a, a good strategy RPG to really, really test your metal, especially with those customization options in the very beginning. Like, mm -hmm. that's huge. That's super huge. Because yeah, that actually means, like, the game. subsequent playthroughs are going to be interesting as opposed to, like, all right, so now I just put this character here. Because, like, they were generally pretty predictable uh, in the past, unless you had some, like, crazy wild crit go against you or go your way. Mm hmm uh, but anyway, so, uh, like I said, out on Steam now, hey, it's pretty good. So, for those of you on YouTube, if you guys like this in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random indie games, awesome indie games, hit subscribe, because we've got so many. <laughs> anyway, with that, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.